Hi, it's Christian Mady, a.k.a. XN, for FitnessAtlantic.com, here at the Fitness Atlantic 2008. I'm with Steve Sims, a legend. Mm. I've seen him compete a for legend. years, and here we are. You're, you're, you're humble. Yeah, like but you. yeah, pretty much. But pretty you're much. out there, you're all business. Oh, you got to be all business out there, you know, because they are. They'll take your head off. You, you know played that. played semi-pro ball. Exactly. For the Bears. Yep. Whoever. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right now, it's whoever. It's whoever, yeah. right. How many years ago? That was uh, three, four years ago now. I've had the dis distinct pleasure of actually coaching a few semi-pro football players in bodybuilding. But, and they've said, I don't know what they say, but you've got to tell me. They're both hard in their own ways. Mm -hmm. What messes with your brain more, the semi-pro oh, football or the bodybuilding? By, by far, bodybuilding. Without by, even a question. By easily. In what ways? How do you, what's your biggest psych out? Just the discipline of, of dieting. I mean, when you're playing football, you can just eat whatever eat be, you want yeah. and eat and be happy and just run around. Is that your natural state, being goofy and eating what you want? Yeah. And you're you just know, chilled out? When you're into the bodybuilding things, it's a different change of focus. You know, you got to diet 24-7. You know, 24-7, you're training, you're up early first thing in the morning. But you, you love know. it. How many years have you been doing this? It's my third year. Okay. How you many know? contests, though? Because you've done a few. Uh, this is my third Muscle Mania. You okay. know. But you've done a few other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've been I'm starting third to get time around the block. Fitness Atlantic, you know. Yeah, third. I'm you starting to get around the block. What, what do you feel like today? you excited? Do you feel like you got I a feel, little? I feel good. I mean, <laughs> I know uh, the king. The king. Winding him up. The king Domingo's back this year, you know, and that's always my first. Who? Domingo Tomko, you okay. know. First year I, I was here. You actually here. have an enemy. Not an enemy. Is a, I think there's no, no, enemy. no, there's 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 no enemy here. You don't go against no, each other no, no. in bodybuilding. You're but, right. But you know, right. when you're seeing, when I was, I was here one year, my first year ever coming to a show, I watched Lisa, my training partner, and she's like, "Oh, you gotta get into it." And I seen Lisa back. Watson. Yep. yep. And I sat back and I seen these guys. I was like, "There's just no way I could." Yeah, get, just, these guys are huge. It. Right. And I watched Domingo and um, matter of fact, Sean Larson battled in the overalls. I was like, "Holy cow!" You know. Then I started training, and then, you know. My, my first year at this show, I was up there with him. You know, you know. he won the class. And I was like, well, I want to get to where he's at, you right. know. So, so you you're, know, you're about the progression. You don't, yeah. See, and that's what's interesting because football doesn't happen in one game. It happens over a season, and you have that season mentality. mentality. Do you think that serves you in bodybuilding? Definitely. Like, definitely, you don't – one show is a shrug for you. It, it, it's, it's a one shrug, game. yeah, you know. It's funny. The, the Sean Larson, we've done so many of these interviews, and he gets more plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing my thunder, Sean Larson. Look him up. Fitnessalink.com. Um. The thing with football, too, and this is what's interesting, is that, um, you know, football players have a little bit of, well, aggro, aggressive thing going on. Mm -hmm. Compare, and someone's laughing about that, mm -hmm. compare, like, say, before a football game with the whole, you know, this stuff going on between football players versus bodybuilders. Are we a little bit more tense before the game? Oh, by, by far, football is more intense. When you run around really? in a pregame, okay. you know, when so you watch a lot more <laughs> Yeah, shit. and, you know, you, you actually can jaw back and forth with your other players. Now, it's funny, in bodybuilding, they do it, but it's such in a quiet way where you sit back and you're like, it's brooding. Mm, yeah, and yeah. you're just sizing the guy up where in football you're like, you know, you're well, football, the silverbacks are fighting, and in bodybuilding, the silverbacks are just pounding their chest. Yeah, they're, each you know, other. they're just <laughs> looking at each other and saying, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, you're good. Do you go in for either of that? Uh, I, I know my answer to that question. I've never seen what? you be aggro to anybody. No, I, I mean, I sit back, and I actually, when I get here, I fall asleep. <laughs> well, isn't that a tactic? Isn't yeah. that a good thing to yeah. do? Yeah, when I, when I get to these things, I fall asleep. The bodybuilders who chill out, I see do so much better. Mm-hmm. Did you learn that earlier, or is that something new in your... Just something I started doing. I got to one show one time, I fell asleep, asleep. and started snoring, and people were like, what the heck's going and on? And you came in tighter and had a good... You had a good There's show. a secret, bodybuilding secret from Steve Sims. Rest, chill out, don't go in for the aggro stuff. Yeah, just relax. On stage, you have a blast, I know. I know. Yeah. You love that. Mm -hmm. The idea that a lot of people have is that posing is just flexing their muscles. But the, no. the skills of presentation, balance and form and all that, mm -hmm. they're at least as challenging as football. So here's the question, after all that. Here's the question. Football, we're doing stuff full body, gross movements, the whole thing. Bodybuilding, it's very refined. And that that translation from the big running down the field, hitting, throwing, you know, like mass mm -hmm. movements down to like, like my calf, my core, you know. Yeah. Was it a weird adaptation? Weird yeah. sport? Like, wait a minute, I don't have these skills. Yeah, I mean, you got to even take that into the gym, too, which, yeah. you know, when you go into football, you know, you, you get in there and you just throw weight like an animal. Oh, right. You know, when you go into bodybuilding, now you're into sculpting and squeezing the muscle and, and connecting. actually connecting. And, you know, it's, it's which, do you, which do you think you enjoy more in the gym? The football, throw the weights, workout? Uh, no offense to football players. <laughs> or, the, or the bodybuilding? I by far the bodybuilding now. Yeah. I mean, once I did my first show, I said, that's, that's it, it for football. <laughs> Plus, and how old are you, kid? 
40. Just turned 40. No, you're not. I am too. Stop the tape. He's not 40. Just turned 40. What? I'm going to smack my parents. Look at my genetics. How do you do this? Bodybuilding found you? Pretty much. Do you I give think the so. kids a run for their money? Oh, I kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I kill them. You, you know, how many years do you think you're going to do? Are you going to just stay your old man? Are you one of those guys? Do yeah, I'm going to go with this. Or is there a, a, a mountain that you want to hit? Um, I think I'm going to go into uh, right, I enjoy it. Just, so you don't, you're going to wait and see? Yeah, I enjoy Season it. Season game, not about one contest. No, no. I Incredible enjoy. philosophy from Steve Sims. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. A philosopher and a gentleman. Stick around for more videos at fitnessatlantic.com for coverage of the Fitness Atlantic 2008. Thanks, Steve. All righty, thank you.